Hello everyone, this is the Peculiar Cavalier here and today I'm gonna start a new series called as uh, Free to Play. Uh, why it's free to play is because uh, these games are available for free in Steam Workshop or even in Steam Exploration. So you can get these games for free and uh, you can support the developers you know, by downloading the game yourself. Uh, why it's free because, uh, for example, if the developer is uh, uh, studying gaming as a, a college material, uh, you would have to do games as a project in the final year. So you will upload these games to Steam for showing that showing off that he's done great work. So you can help them by downloading the game. So how much uh, people download it will be a value for himself. And not just for that because he might be a great uh, gamer himself and he just want to give something back to the community. So he would have done a free game for you guys. So you could just download the game. Um, the problem with these games are not, these games are not going to be like uh, days worth of uh, events, just uh, hours, sometimes uh, minutes, so 20 minutes or 30 minutes game. So and they don't uh, get you, they don't give you anything that much. So you know it's just for entertainment. So like you download the game and then you just uh, play the game for 20 minutes and then you just uninstall the game. So they get a downloading value. Uh, you get to play the game for entertainment. So everyone wins so I downloaded this game uh, last week called as disturb uh, I haven't I don't know anything about the game so I didn't even read the description down below because uh, I wanted to go into this uh, with a fresh mind so I can learn more about it on my own so let's uh, you know just let's just start the game okay let's just start the game uh, so if you guys wanna you know give it a try go to steam I'll li leave a link below download steam it's see free uh, create an account it's free download the game it's free play the game so this series uh, I'm gonna upload weekly videos for this series uh, so you can you know just to, to showcase many developers uh, to give them support so you guys want to try it out please do it I'll just uh, let's just start the game another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick okay for some time the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Okay. Perhaps it is up to you. Okay. You have made up your mind. You are go going to do something about it. Alright. So you stand in front of your humble home pondering what you should do next. Um, go into the house. Let's see what is there. Entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness as if a growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will just go away. You have flight the notion, but the temptation is still there. Um, open chest. What is it? You open the chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuable than you anticipated. You close the chest. Okay, that was sad. Uh, read your dear journal another usual day on the farm the crops are growing with good health Bethany is also doing quite well never disappointed with the milk she provides if things continue to do go well I may be able to invest in more animals a farmer can be can only be so social with a cow okay that's a good point today has been unfortunately unfortunate day some somebody broke into my shed and stole some things I usually don't mind if I someone steals a bite to eat from the garden but to take my equipment will I put a lock on the door and the key nobody will ever get into my stuff again all right I woke up one night to a foul smell I have never come across before I took a step outside to see what I could find but I found nothing after searching about the farm whatever it is it must be bad it should be take a trip into the city to see what this is about all right so we read our journal open our, open the chest so lay in bed Alright, you lay in your bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside again the grass. So, we have a peaceful, you begin to hear whispers and chants but you can't make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone glowing as if it was alive. The chants get louder, uh, vision goes in detail. You reach towards the stone with your hand as your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind, the particles flow into the stone snapping the life from your body. What? You feel pain you have never experienced before. And Fear begins to flood over you. I'm dead. Superb. A good start. A good start to the game. A wonderful start to the game. So this is the game. This is what the game is all about. I think. Uh, so we are a farmer who has a withered farm. Everything is dying out there. So we are the one who should take care of the farm to bring it 
to bring back to its original glory uh, but we have to do it without dying without ending our adventure like that so that was uh, bad so laying in our bed is bad so we have to remember that the next time good okay i'm just gonna go through this um, fast so go into the house is a bad thing so go to the go into the shed you attempt to open the shed door but the door won't budge you remember locking it some time ago but you can't remember what you did with the key wonderful so go to the crops then the path divides the crops you have labored so hard to prosper these past months a penetrating odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away and its time is running short what can i do okay go into the pen a toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body you feel sick to your stomach as you stand there especially you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground that's sad um it's good grab a you kneel down and grab a mushroom as you begin to rip it out of the ground a cloud spores spray away from the mushroom your hands begin to burn and you melt as you absorb them you slowly your body shrivels up into a dark moist consistency as the poison spreads you die eventually after crawling on the ground wonder your adventure ends here those are some serious trooms i got an achievement unlocked wonder so grabbing a mushroom is bad so let's see if we can do something else okay go to the crops okay for for uh, go into the pen i know uh, inspect the water then looking for anything abnormal you notice that the water has a dark consistency to it dropping a stone into black particles from the bottom swell about like a thunderstorm your face shrivels in disgust okay leave the pen don't grab the mushroom ever so follow the path okay follow the path we are following the path trail while until you see a cave off in the distance you pass questioning if there could be something helpful in there really uh going to the cave then we are going to die here as well and we there's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks the temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave all right you notice that there is a different smell but you will commit comparing it to the deadly blight found outside uh go further into the cave wonderful a large bear emerges from the darkness you have made a terrible mistake <sighs> fight the bear why not you scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab and throw at the bear you begin to do so as the bear approaches you you throw the rocks as hard as you can and another rock <sighs> tackling you to the ground the bear bites you into the neck your body quick still limp and you die your adventure ends here scratch off on a scratch another of the list achievement unlocked so pretty much we are dying left right and center here so that's a good start of the game absolutely don't you think so go to the crops go follow the path don't go to the cave you come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon inspect the wagon you look about the mess and find bits of fla- food and clothes scattered about the scene that's nice you notice a key in the ground during your search you pick up the key and continue on away can that be our key after what felt like an hour or two you re- reach a bridge nearby the path with a small shack similar to your house you have on the farm and the man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you recall maybe there is home uh inspect the shack you walk towards the structure and knock on the door you scratch the back of your head figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied if not elsewhere remember picking up a key from the wagon and use it on the door the door unlocks so it's not our key you decide to help yourself in that's bad as in the empty room you realize something terrible must have taken place here okay the room is a wreck just like the wagon you all come with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here um let's uh, inspect the book on the table you pick up the book and start to flip through the pages you discover that it is a journal reading a passage or two can't hurt that's bad but what about today's trading went smoothly thank goodness what am i thrilled to most about however is the one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region with a good catch i can make enough to move things forward okay that's good to know i caught up when we mentioned that nobody has been able to catch from there i guess the typical fishing rod won't do the trick but what can be done about it then something to be intrigued i suppose Yeah. These past couple weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under, and I have lost nearly everything I own. Uh, this this has pushed me to the extremes, but that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying, and there are nothing that about it darkness here. Anything reading should leave while they can. All right, that's a warning for us, but we are still reading. 
you can't find a name to give this man but regardless of the name you get chills down your spine that's actually a good thing okay open the trap door you observe the trap door and notice a lock keeping it with the key you unlock the hatch and get it open without thinking you travel downward oh okay walking down the stairs leading below the air attacks your body with a piercing cold you notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall who would do this to her you feel darkness around you as you stay in this awful place talk to the woman you tremble as you try to form words in your mouth you there let me out of here the pressure of such a demand makes you freeze uh you take a moment to think about the situation before you respond what you locked up to begin with you'll never believe me even if i told the truth um something brought you here please have mercy on me free the woman you approach the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her you she moans in pain oh thank you so much the woman struggles to regain her strength but starts to stand up on her own as she gets up she turns towards you i will now do you a favor what simply the face of helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests before you so she kills me wonderful slip away as everything goes black that your journey ends here what we have we have died everywhere so yet again we go this time we cross the bridge we just cross the bridge we die everywhere that's just sad go to the crops follow the path follow the path continue on uh cross the bridge please you cross the bridge safely and continuing down the trail after all that has happened you feel that you should take a moment to rest you find a spot under the tree and sit down getting comfortable you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky um take a nap and your body relaxes you uh, yes your mind wanders you see a blurry image okay a bad feeling uh, and you realize who this is you try to wake up yourself up you woke up in a jump your feet looking about yourself and your surrounding all seems well you can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay moving forward like the only logical option now <laughs> okay you reach a point where the trail splits into two paths which way you should go go right i think and go right wrong in right right you reach the end of the pathway in the distance is a tower looking over the air a gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property all right and also of interest there is a tree that needs a ho- that has a hole carved into it um uh, inspect the tree first you approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in it um okay and feeling around with with your hand you find there are three knobs one on the right one centered in the middle and one on the left uh press the knobs why not press the left knob okay there's nothing happened nothing happened the knobs lock in place you wait for a moment but nothing happens it must be some sort of combination so what if i press middle left and right and the knobs lock in place okay then what about right middle and middle and no 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 three so right middle and then left knobs lock in place um so what if like middle left and right all right no okay then middle right and left okay then what if i just press left left and left okay no what if right right and right no all right leave the tree damn it we send up the pathway <laughs> okay what if we go to the gate so you press the gate cautiously uh, enter why not tell you your heart begins to sink there is no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague so this is where the blight started okay uh inspect the fountain first there's a dark haze about the fountain the water is black and the smells burn with every breath you feel a slight pull towards the fountain as if it are calling something so nothing there statue on the left ah that's look like a weeping angel from the doctor who series okay consumed by vines of thorn the angel is holding a book in his hand and the other one with the finger pointed towards the sky you feel it best to leave the statue alone good thinking and statue on the right oh who the fuck are you old angel that is broken in many areas with one hand and the angel is holding some sort of bowl while the other is hovering over the bowl so you notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the angel's other hand all right you feel you should keep your distance and just observe the statue that's also a good you know thinking so we uh, we just enter the tower approach the door uh don't have an invisible barrier stops it must be some sort of magic 
so we cannot enter that so okay exit the gated area I just want to inspect the tree one more time you know just for good old sake press the knobs um, what if we do this no damn it press the knobs right left in the middle but nothing happens all right I'll just go back we can find some uh, idea and then we can come back so go left so after continuing the path for some time you come to a stop you notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up toward a nearby hill if you had not stopped you probably would have never noticed okay which way do you go uh, follow the trail in the grass oh saddle trail in the grass you stumble upon what looks like a grave inspect the grave you approach the grave you look the sword with intrigue before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. Hi, mate. You freeze before the creation. Sword me, I have it. The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you decide the sword, free me from it. Slowly motion for the sword. Fool. Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope like a flower found in darkness. Um, grab the sword. You reach for the sword before you can lay your finger on it. The spirit grabs you. Hey, we die. Wonderful. A cursed blade, great. Yeah, it says great. I know, I know. Curiosity kills the cat. Do, do you guys know about that? Go to the crops. Follow the path. Go down the path. Continue on. Cross the bridge. And we are we slept last time. So what up? We got if we pick up the grass. The ground begins to shake before you can get up. Roots from below sprout. Grab up and walk your leg. You turn around to see a large angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in order. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as the tightening grip of the roots squeeze you out as from your body. Your adventure ends here. Nature will rise against you. Take and look down into it. Alright. Resting under the water is an orb of some sort sitting on the bottom of the lake. There's something strange about it as if it were calling out to you. Alright. Dive in. We're gonna die, aren't we? You open your eyes to see the stone sitting in front of you, you start to make your way towards it. A large fish comes into view, it quickly notices you wish its mouth stretched open. You try to leave for the surface but the fish catches up to you, you quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. <laughs> you die a very painful death. Don't need a fishing permit. Wonderful. We are getting achievements like left, right and center here. That's a good thing. So, yeah, we begin again. We learn a lot of things here, we learn a lot of things, but we keep on dying though, so whatever. Continue down the path please, continue on, cross the bridge, okay, all that happened to you, feel that spot on the tree, take a nap, okay, relaxing, we see an image, alright, get up, go on, go left. So the path, we cannot take these, we cannot go into the lake, continue the trial, comes to an end, there is a collection of stone pillars down the hill, beyond this hill is a large field of grass. First inspect the stone pillars. You stand before a large stone arranged in the shape of a circle. In the center is a stone with what appears to be some sort of slot or a hole, no doubt about it, something is to be there. Seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. That's wonderful. Okay, explore the feet. So you find yourself gazing over a grass field with hills rolling off into the distance. Okay, there's a unicorn. You see a unicorn run across the field, it disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique pass of a unicorn can help you with your quest, but there is still clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. So there is a way to charm it. That's what you're saying. So go back, then go back to the grave, go back. So uh, that guy needed some rock or something that stone pillars needed a rock or something the fish I don't know anything we can do about it that's the rock that I suppose and the, there is a way to charm the unicorn so we, we have to remember that continue down the path you go for some time to find an endless field of grass there is a stone well near the path inspect the well why not you peer down the well other than the evident water at the bottom there is coin resting against the well wall of the well if possible, you feel you should go down and take the coin. Grab the coin. You leave the edge of the well. There is no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. You turn and climb down along the inner wall of the wall. You take a few successful steps down. 
So we are gonna die. <sighs> Wonderful. Your body sink effortlessly and you drown with realizing it. Oh shiny. Oh great. Several times a year you come here to trade goods from the farm. You discover the plague that has spread to your farm has also spread the way out of here. The path before you is overrun with blight. Continue across. You have come a long way and you don't decide to turn back now. You march forward into the tainted soil. Okay. In soil, darkness consumes you and your lungs circles for air. Your body burns in strain and suffocate and die. Your adventure ends here. It was all for nothing. Really? You think so? So, pretty much we have di died everywhere, I suppose. So there's, uh, I don't know what should we do. I have no idea actually. So go into the shed. We can't go into the shed. So go into the house. There's pretty much nothing in the house really, is there? Open chest, said no. So the same thing. Um, so again, we cannot go there. Go into the crops. This is our crops. For the going to the pen, we just saw the mushroom and everything. So going to the pen, we gave actually nothing, right? Right? Yep. So follow the path. So we cannot um, go into the cave. We saw the bear. So no. I'm not gonna go there. So continue down the path. So we saw this, inspected the wagon, we found a key and then we came into this house. And there's nothing there. So yeah, inspect no no no, I'm gonna cross the bridge. So we take a nap here because the tree will kill us if you pick at the grass. Let's just see at that. And then all seems well. So we just get up go down there go right let's just try this for a moment we need to open this um, knobs for some reason left middle and right not opening wonderful uh, how about middle right and left knobs look in place press the knobs right left and middle Knobs lock in place. Press the knobs. Middle, right, and left. Nope. Right, middle, left. Wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. What's the combination though? Middle, right, and middle. No. So we tried that. So right, left, and right. Oh, wait. Oh, it opened! Nice. Please, you find yourself with no evident way out of the path before you into the darkness. So, uh, we have to remember that. Right, left and right. Okay, okay, uh, good to know. So, you see three separate paths within the walls of the cave. Which path do you choose? Um, go right first. Go right. The passageway soon ends with an enlarged mushroom sitting in front of you. A steady river of water flows between you and the mushroom. Inspect the mushroom. You walk towards the mushroom as if it were something more than a, what meets the eye. Walking forward, you take a step into the water. You, to your dismay, your foot hits to the bottom. You reach a grab out of the edge of the surface, but your body frees the stuff. So we die. Yet again, into the darkness. I'll just save here. Because, you know, we cannot go back again. I will again. You see three separate paths within the walls of the cave. Which path do you choose? Um, how about left? Since we are going left, 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 you cautiously make your way through the darkness. How much separation is there? Really? Darkness. Divide which you go. Go right. Oh, an eye appears before you as it gaze. I'll just save here. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. Before you can do anything, your tentacles burst from the ground and grip your body. It pulls about you. Resist as much you can. We die, right? Yes. I know. I know this would be the case. Got roped by a rope. Start to it. Left. Right. Shaking down. We will go down below, I suppose. We'll see. Let's just go straight. Let's just go straight here. Go forward. So, oh, we run into the creature right away. 
go left. Yeah, we go into the creature right away. So, wonderful, isn't it? We can't go there. So, load game, tree, um, press the knobs, right, left, and right. So, we go down. So, we cannot go forward. That's a, that's a good point. So, we take uh, left, go through the darkness, take right, I suppose. You notice there is light off in the distance and you continue make your way forward. Alright. So make it into some sort of concrete room. Turning around you see a hole in the wall where you came from. You guess is that wasn't a part of the initial design. Alright. You turn around to see a door they're bending. There being a little too nothing in the room. You decide to move on through the door. Alright. You find yourself what looks like a basement. You turn about to discover that in each direction there is a door. Boxes of supplies, debris, still on the floor in the corners of the room. Okay. Um Inspect the supplies first of all. Okay, that's that nothing. Okay, several minutes you find nothing of value. Okay, oh, what about like the middle door is obviously looking crap. So I'll go right first. There's a large cauldron on the center of the room with a wood resting beneath. There's nothing of the shelves as if someone cleared this place. You look into the pot but found nothing in it. You exit the room. So there's literally nothing there. You go to the left. Okay, go back. Like, let's just. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Not here, nothing. Let's save here for a minute. Go in the middle door. You enter a room full of metal cages before you saw a hallway marked with questionable markings. You don't like the feeling you have about this place. Whatever was in these cages surely did not like to be locked up. That's a good point. So we'll just save in an empty slot. Okay, now. You notice there is an animal in the cage on the left of the room, but from the dark stains on its fur, it's dead. Uh, cautiously walk down the hallway, entering a room with two cell doors. Oh! Very vicious, but one wrong move shall surely be the end of you. Realizing that you are not prepared for a moment like this, you slowly back away to the other room. Oh! So let's just go again into the tree. Right, left, right. Whoever made this game, I should have had a fun laugh because, you know, I should have known when I downloaded the game, there was like a lot of achievements for dying. I should have known, I should have known. Go right. Okay, so, I know. Let's just save here, first of all. Yes, because this seems to be the... Uh, point of it so like the middle door gave us the animal so continue on so you move forward into the darkness we came ag we come again here really left and then go right again we come here right yeah so how about we enter the door behind you you walk up the steps Okay, large room, the air is polluted, spider web and ceiling. Where should you go now? Um, the far door. There's nothing here, right? What appears to be a spider's den. Are we going to die here? Yeah. We are going to die here. The spider attacks you. <sighs> Wonderful. Sam doesn't save you in this story. I know, I know. That's a good thing we saved here. Go to the door behind you go upstairs so how about we go upstairs there's a uh, private library before you uh, browse the books why not some of them catches your eye rituals of the ancient you flip around until something grabs your attention what is it pillars of stone yes before current images there were unique religious practices that revolve around the stone it is said to be that there are stones lined up in a special way that are often organized in a circular pattern organizing the stones in this way unlocks an ancient power that researchers have troubled understanding uh, this is the rock that we saw right in the middle of the circle would be a stone or two of the keystone to rest on this is a great mystery of this ancient practice from ancient records it's written that the energies from the surrounding stones channel their power into the keystone page of the books has been torn out all right Deception by music. There is a bent page marking on the section of the book. You turn to it. The art of charming is not necessarily limited to the instrument, but how the musician go on about playing given instruments. Some are definitely easier to use than others, and for this skill as such is, there is, are a few instruments that are recommended. 
uh, from vicious dogs to shy unicorns, the soothing voice of the harp can calm the troubled heart. Of course, not at all creatures can fall for this simple trick, but it can mean the difference between life and death in some situation. So we have to play the harp. We don't have the harp. We saw the unicorn, so we have to charm it. A forgotten path. Flipping through the pages, there's a, one particular that has ink markings all over it. Raw energy is a powerful substance not to be trifled with. It is merely myth that such energy exists. Stumble upon a pillar of godly power even if such fate is yours. Bad hands cannot contain the force. It must be bent and channeled into a specially crafted thing. There have been accounts across time of individuals possessing such power. Although they pass away as sand, the relics of power remain as powerful artifacts. Okay. Leave. Move forward. Walk up the stairs. You pass notice stone carving of a person praying that is attached to the wall. There's something odd about it, but you can't put finger on it. With caution, you continue up the stairs. You enter a strange room with large globes centered around the room. There are windows that let the light shine through. You notice that there is a chest resting against the wall the right. You also notice that there is another passageway like the previous room. Um, open the chest first. Okay, you decide to... What? Why? With no key. Okay, inspect the globe. The attached to the floor surface. The craft is made up of metal. There is fine detail into the groups. There are various markings and names scattered across the globe. It takes you a moment, but you find a marking where you are, Aramo. That there are some hand down markings to the area that made it black ink. There must be something close by that has interested the author of these markings. To add to the mystery, there are similar markings to other areas around the globe. So continue forward. You climb the stairs, find a wall ending your path above the end of the wall, stairway attached to a hatch. Open the hatch. You pull yourself up. Uh, you made it to the top of the tower before you use the stone power resting upon the altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structure as if they are feeding off the energies of the stone. Um, your body begins to tremble as you stand before the stone. You definitely feel weaker, uh, being up here as if the stone was sapping away your energy. Destroy the stone. Please kill it. Or we die. You have no power here. Wonderful, isn't it? Just wonderful. So we cannot go left, right, center. You just go to the door behind you. What if we go downstairs? So again here, we come here. So there's nothing in that direction. We cannot go up. We cannot go to that uh, tower. So left door is a possible opportunity, I suppose. Continue on. We come back here. So there's nothing actually we can do left. left um go left again the right is the same direction again we come here so there's nothing for us to do here about right and go left okay what about right again so okay as you make your way forward you discover a large cavern an old looking ship rests against the edge of the lake with debris scattered around the surrounding area inspect the ship obviously that is chilling around you okay Climb up above the ship, observe your surroundings. You are the only one welcomed by the trickle of water between the Every footstep you take feels heavy as you hear the sound of wood cracking under your feet. This has been quite some time. Alright. And then the deck of the ship. Alright. The room, one other, you come to discover a kitchen. Although there is nothing unique about it, you feel you should take a moment to inspect it. Um, inspect the oven. Okay. You close the oven door. There's nothing there. Open the doors. Finding there have been empty dust threads around the edge. So you take the knife in hopes that you may defend yourself with it. Okay. Okay. So we have something else. You close. Okay. Move on. Actually, we got a knife. That's actually good. You continue a lonely tour of the ship only to find that there is nothing of use of value. Search. All right. Left to remain in dark solitude. You discover a door with fancy markings above the woodwork. Perhaps this is where the captain decided. You discover the room of the captain. Unlike the other parts of the ship, everything seems to have been left alone in this room. Okay, you are feeling deep down that you shouldn't take anything other than the lamp and the other object. There is a small stack of papers. Contrast the lone paper resting by itself. Inspect the papers. Um, stack of papers. You okay? And read. Day 7. The voyage has gone quite smooth as we begin our second week away from home. The spirits of the men are high as we anticipate the discovery of new lands that lie beyond our documented knowledge. There has been dreamed to accomplish something good, world, cha world changing. Together we move forward with full hearts and unbreakable spirits. Day 66. Or oh, two months at sea and we have yet to discover anything new. 
we have suffered through many storms and sickness and plague the ship recently several of my favorite crew members have passed to the next life okay so everyone has died it's come to roughly three months out there and they're less blue with much pain we have turned around yes we are headed for the home port we have just we have just enough food to make it back i just hope we have smooth journey back the spirits of the crew are low and bitter due to the failure i do not let myself get caught up in thinking it truly we do not intend for this to happen okay so loan document not to notice to the crew due to unexpected predicament everyone is being split up into groups of two and three scouting assignments will be given until we find a more habitable place to settle for now we must do what we can so that's it seeing that there is a little tree you take your leave okay so there is nothing okay go left look forward into the darkness yet again we come here come on just go left go to the right left sorry we come back here again wonderful what if we go back to the wait i'll go to the i'll show you guys what i mean go to the right so we come here i know go to the middle we have a knife right go to the middle door i know what if uh... wait you have a knife why did you die you have a knife mate ah uh, so i think this has been a long video guys uh, sorry for that because i've been struggling a lot with this game so this is definitely a game that challenges us that make us think so what i'll do is i'll just find a way on my own and then i'll upload it uh, soon enough uh, so i thought this would be just a one time try but seriously this has given us something to think about uh, so thank you guys for watching uh, please try this game on your own this is really thoughtful uh, the developers have did a good job of it so support them by downloading the game Uh, so thank you guys for watching this is the peculiar cavalier here and you've been an amazing audience uh, thank you for watching please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for everything that is gaming uh, and i'll see you guys next time bye